Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Come on, this yeah. Ass in your tank. Boss is waiting back. for you. Thanks. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Mafia. <laughs> the boss wants to see us. Come on, let's continue this story. Let's not wait. There he is. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Winnie has got surprise for me. Winnie is the gun guy, so hey, I'm expecting a gun. <laughs> I saw this, and I thought of you. <laughs> That's more Winnie. Thank you. <laughs> you ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Okay, Tommy. Do as the man says. Gosh, real mean. Now, click, 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 bang. Brain all up the walls, okay? Now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Wow, nice one. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Mm -hmm. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's funny. Okay, Winnie. We are buddies now. <laughs> Me and Winnie go long way back. Like two days back. <laughs> Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? Ooh, to nice car. Is the one I drove here. <laughs> nice. You, you know how to get, get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f f fix try that nowadays. Pickup. No, don't try it. <laughs> Spoilers is not gonna work, so. Water. You're yeah. a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. <laughs> Old door locks, man. Okay, let's try it. Come on, did it, Tommy. Show me what you but bring me something good, good to work on. Yeah, easy. Have a good day, fellas. Come on, Tommy, start it up. Is the engine dead? First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Oh. Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. I'm going first. Fuck your truck. I'm really enjoying these car rides. Even if there was a fast travel option here to the mission, I wouldn't use it. This dinner is really nice, really relaxing in a way. I don't know why, but this atmosphere gives me the feels like People didn't have like any worries back in the day, you know, just go with their day, 
walking around and whatnot. <laughs> okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> uh, good. Here, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? Where's the money? Perone, fetcha! Voci succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh? Okay, that was a quite a smooth ride. Cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Oh, we don't get to go inside? That's he's doing the store that's on stupid. his own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. <laughs> you can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. <laughs> So we can do stuff that nobody's going to see, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. <laughs> I guess Polly is like a pit bull in the family. <laughs> you need to let him go off sometime. From time to time, not always. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Yeah, pretty relaxed. No worries. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week. Put some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub <laughs> out. Once he's back on his feet. No, oh, Polly, what have you done? Come out with us again, Tom. Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I can smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> Usually, when we do it around... We don't wreck every car on the road. It's a rule we have. <laughs> nah, you oh. didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. 
The modern woman knows the importance of staying trim, fit, and vigorous. Jesus, and I hate it out of this city. You, you hate it most places. Yeah, but out here, it's Remember, worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before I lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Hills Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some... Okay, there it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Okay, how do we get to the Sam? That's the question, the real question. We cannot go right into the front door, I think. Or maybe we can. Let's try it. Now oh, it's locked. Ah, I guessed as much. Okay, let's put out our gun. Work our way around it, right? Sneaky, sneaky. There's some ammo on the right. Okay, let's sneak after this guy. Let's kill him quietly. Stay down. Service revolver. Well, it should be better than our small gun, right? The mother revolver. Um, ammo? Mm, sure, I want some ammo. Come on, dummy. Anything here of interest? Not really, no. Here? Oh, just a balcony. I need to get down. Let's check this room. Mm, not much here, right. Oh, cool gator. I wish I had one. <laughs> what did you eat, man? Okay, leave the man. He will shit himself when we shoot. Take her. Let's wait for him and try to do a white one. White one. <laughs> now. That's a surprise for you. What's here? <laughs> Carpets. 
not not much. I thought I heard a guy moving. Pocket revolver. No, I didn't find that. What's this? Roberto Gilotti. A trusted figure in Lost Heaven, owner of the boatyards and industry Empire 2000s. Employer. <laughs> Employer 2000s. Friends of the city. I really doubt that, man. No, oh, what's going on in here? Okay, this will mm, this will be a shootout, guys. Get ready. And you. <laughs> you want to knife me? <laughs> Had a good shit, buddy. Hope you did. Let's take this. It's a better one. And if you had like a shotgun or something that I can use. No, I don't want to have any pocket revolvers. Okay, let's let's get some. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. I'm on it, Polly. Don't worry. This thing drives like a rocket. Ooh, I have infinite ammo. Let's shoot the bastards. And you are done. This wasn't really an original part of Mafia. That you can shoot from the car. Oh, I got, I got shot. You're done as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not an off-roader. Almost turned myself over there. One hit. Two hits. Come on, speed up, Tommy. Pedal to the metal, baby. Let's go. You won't get far, baby. Ram. We need to kill the bastard. If you don't pay Salieri, you don't leave. Oh, the... How? Oh. Okay, let's do it again, but this time we won't break the car. We will just ram it. Now I got you. Bam. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh? I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street 
Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. It did seem to have the city jumping at its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. No, then I. I'm sorry, I. Uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just. I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... Tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Anton Square. Oh, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. He wants something to happen to the driver. Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, 
Bring it to one of our mechanics. I'll make a few adjustments. You bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this move. The sick power. Hey, hey, bona say to Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lalo Lucas Berton. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Hmm, let's pick up a car. This is also owned by us. Well, not this crap. My taxi! <laughs> Look at it. Brand new, baby. But we will take the faster one. Huh, very simple way to add vehicles. I like it. Now well, let's go get that race car and mess with it. Mess it up. You Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Okay, Bobby, open up. Let's see that sports car of the 30s. Man, that's Here she nice. Is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best That's cool. It's a shame you got a record. <laughs> if they see this down the road, cops are going to ask questions. <laughs> they sure will. Up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? Hey, you take your chop. I got to be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Okay, we don't have much time. Let's ooh, listen to that engine, baby. Oh wow, that's the speed! Whoop. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it in one place, but let's give our best here. 
Let's look away, guys. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh my god. This car is crazy, man. It's out of control. Jeez. Oh, just before we... Smash another one. Sorry. Just before we get there, subscribe if you like this. Come on, Tom, go. Yeehaw! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a perfect slide. Brakes. What is it? Oh, cops. They're, they're going to see me. If they catch up with me, I'm busted, but if they catch up. So half of the car is gone. That's not good. Oh, you simply can't stop me this thing. Okay, easy Tom, easy Tom. Easy now. We need to make there in one piece. I wonder if he's going to repair it back to original state. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's going to be noticeable. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Oh, so the engine overheats now. He must have busted up the radiator. Or just empty the coolant. <laughs> that would be an easy. Damn, I just got the feeling of the car in the first place and now it's misbehaving like this. I don't like it. <laughs> the guys want to jump. Really random, but really real, really real. Oh, it turns on its own as well. Well, look at the wheels, they're bent. Okay, I have enough time to get there. Let's just enjoy as much as we possibly can with this wrecked car.
back. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Drives like a shit. <laughs> Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got a moment? No. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. Oh, they give me the red car. Awesome. Let's go. Uh -huh. You European shit. Oh, is he there? Is he there? He's in the corner. I'm still at the very last position. Okay, one down, two down. Come on, catch that drag. Don't slow down there. It's not that hard to turn. is incredible but my driving is terrible can you drift in can you drift in i guess not Alright, alright, that's what I'm talking about. First, baby! Ah. You're damn right I'm taking the lead. Ooh, that was a close call. Damn, I'm getting better at this. When there's no other cars around me. <laughs> yeah. I thought I could corner faster there. Never mind. All good. 
Slow down, slow down, slow down. Can we jump over again? Let's go. Am I dead? I'm dead. Flip the, <laughs> flip the vehicle, yeah, that's mechanic, man. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> okay, we're not going to do that again. Sorry, I have to win this. Ooh, collision with what? The wall? Okay, second lap, second place. No worries, no worries. I have this. Oh, almost. Of course he will, you doubted me? Yeah man, I'm a professional. First time doing this, but still professional. Let's not do that jump again. What are you doing there? Oh. Overheated, one more. Ooh. Clean up the track a little bit, make it nicer. <laughs> And that's it, we are first, we won the race. Hey, Tommy, <laughs> there's our winner. Hey, Tom. I just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on boots and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. I guess it shouldn't be too hard to find Polly in this crowd if he's that drunk. Just look for an idiot. <laughs> Maybe ask Frankie about it. That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Where's that guy? That's a really cool boss man, look at this. Oh, this is a betting place. Nice. Paul is not... <laughs> I just wanted to say Paul is not here for sure. But there he is, lying on the tires. Cow says moo and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. <laughs> Come on, Polly, get your drunk ass into the car. You can do that, right? You did real good today, Tommy. With the hey, I didn't get to celebrate my driving. victory. I was right. I was That's right disappointing. I you. you know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. Put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a... some kind of race car driver. We all got our... You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> well, how he go home to? Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know, I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. A uh, home? Brought me a home? Yeah. Maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah. A good idea. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah. I, I don't feel so good. Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk my daughter home. Sarah? <laughs> Way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a. Uh, Back of boys in need of her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. Or maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you're working at home, this reminder these punks she's the dawn's a goddaughter. 
No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. Bend me. Set up. Time to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. All right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tammy. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. Mm. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. 
Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> Then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going here, sweet cheeks? Uh, Back off! Uh, Billy Strait. You're some kind of dish, ain't you? Uh, Get away from me! Hey. Damn, I forgot uh, how to fight, but... Get him, Billy! Uh, 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 you even touched uh, me! Uh, dead! Uh, uh, come on. Uh, Knock down, bitch. Oh, you do, right? Damn, that was cool. Come on, there's enough of us to finish. That's not cool, bringing a knife into the fist fight, baby. But now I have a knife as well. Get away from me! Get away from her! Oh, step, 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 step. Tommy! My turn now. Hope you're better than your friend. That's what I got. You son of a bitch! I got my suit all bloody because of you idiots. You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. <laughs> Take another. All right, you're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? It's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. A 
Yes, I'll do. Well, that will do it for this episode. I hope I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe and bye.